something from uh, a male voice from a movie, this female voice from an opera. We did something originally for cello. Um, let's see, natural horn, how about that, French horn? Um, this next concerto was written by Mozart, um, uh, and, and for those of you, a little music history for you, uh, when Mozart wrote these concertos, brass instruments didn't have valves yet, so they could only use the harmonic series. And um, I think it was around 1750, right? 1750, 1850, 1750. They came up with a, 1750, trust me. Uh, somebody came up with a way to uh, put their hand in the bell of the horn and change the pitch. Now, of course, it, it didn't all sound, um, the pitch didn't all sound great, but it worked. And so Mozart wrote these concertos for a friend of his in, um, in Vienna. Uh, his name was Ignaz Joseph Leutzky. And um, for some reason, Mozart really liked this guy enough to write concertos for him, but he also really liked to make fun of him. Um, in 1777, uh, Mr. Leutzky, who was, he was just a horn player in the orchestra there, uh, he needed to make a living, he opened a cheese shop. And uh, Mozart's father described it as the size of a snail's shell and said that, uh, you know, he has great skill but and he's one of the rare virtuosos in Vienna, but he's not very bright. So Mozart would write these concertos. He wrote four in total for him. And on the second one, uh, Mozart wrote a bunch of jokes on the manuscripts. Um, my favorite is uh, during the, the third movement, it's a allegro, kind of a fast tempo, and he writes on the solo part that it's uh, adagio. So poor Light Heap's gonna come in really slow and the orchestra's going fast, and just leave him in the dust. Um, he puts a few Italian markings, uh, you know, at the end of the piece in Italian, Dumiski, Grazia, Asiel, Basta, Basta, which is like, you done? Thank you, let's stop, you know? And uh, on his third horn concerto, he um, wrote the superscription, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was taking pity on the ass, ox, and fool Leitzky at Vienna, May 27, 1783. Uh, this particular concerto is the last one, and arguably his most thorough. Uh, he, he, I guess he wasn't uh, really up to making fun of poor Leitke. All he did for this one was uh, write the score and parts in uh, varying colors throughout, blue, red, green, and black, which um, doesn't seem very exciting to me. Maybe the guy was colorblind, I don't know. Um, these concertos were originally written for horn in D or E flat. Uh, this one was written for E-flat. Now people play them on the F-horn. I thought I would take this opportunity to also tell you a little bit about my tuba. This is an F-tuba, which means it's pitch and F. My fundamental pitches are F. This is very similar to uh, a French horn, a horn in F, except obviously it's a lot bigger, right? The length, however, if I stretched out all the tubing from end to end, would be about 22 feet, and it would be the same as a French horn. The difference here is that the, the bore is a lot bigger. So. I'm playing on the same harmonic series and everything as a as an F horn.